Okay, this week's video, this month's video for January will be, it's cold outside. And so you can't practice fishing. So the next thing you have to do is figure out, take your fly boxes apart, and I do this every year, and I try to figure out, okay, what's the best way to carry my flies? Uh, I have gotten to the point where I'm down to about three boxes I take with me, three or maybe four boxes at the most. I'm trying to minimalize as much as I can. So then you have to figure out, okay, I have this box. What am I going to put in it? Okay. So this is a chance for you guys to kind of talk back a little bit and tell me what kind, how you organize your fly box. Now, all right. The, the way I, I've, I've gone through almost all of these in my time. So uh, here's, here's kind of a um, sort of different methods of doing it. So the first method is, is I think a lot of people start out this way is that you have a box of terrestrials, box of streamers, box of nymphs, and a box of dries. That seems to be pretty common. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people and that seems to be, that's the method that they're using most of the time. So that's a good system. Is that your system? I use this one sometimes and then they get changed around. So that's the one system, the dry nymph streamer terrestrial system. The next system that comes up is a little bit more based instead of uh, how the fly works, what the fly is. And some people just have a box of mayflies, a box of terrestrials, a box of stoneflies, and a box of caddises. And that seems to be the arrangement, you know, and there might be some other little smaller boxes aside. But the mayflies, you know, they, you know, they kind of keep those together. The stoneflies, the terrestrials, the caddis. Okay, and you make some decisions based on that. So that's uh, method B. Okay. Method C is a little bit more, even more specific than that, but more specific based on the kind of flies. So some people have a box of atoms, and I knew a guy that that's all he carried was atoms, but in every size and color. A box of woolly buggers, and again, all colors of woolly buggers. All kinds of ants, and maybe all kinds of caddises. Depending upon where you live, this may be a little bit different. But kind of based on um, the types of flies versus uh, the actual, you know, creature that they're trying to, rather than, rather than writing a mayfly. Okay. But the next system, and that's system C, okay? And you can actually take notes if you'd like. Uh, the next system is actually a good system, and I know a lot of people that do this, and I kind of do a, do a modified version of it. It's based on where you fish. So the, the, I have a, there's a Manistee box, a Huron River box, a rifle box, an Osavo box, and there might be, you know, whatever other river you do. And there is definitely different... Uh, types of flies in each of those. So some people arrange them based on basically the rivers that they uh, fish. And so if they figure they're going to the Manistee, they've got the flies for that river. And this stuff's fairly easy to look up, you know, so you can do that. So that's, that's number D, okay? I've tried all of these, by the way. Uh, let's try E. E, I was at a point where I was kind of where uh, this was it was basically I have my small flies and my big flies. <laughs> it's like, it just got to be. In fact, by the end of the summer, that's kind of uh, the organizational pattern that ends up in my um, in my boxes. So uh, because I'm just they're coming out of all these different boxes, and uh, some boxes work better for big flies and some for small flies. It's not the best system in the world, but. By the end of the season, that's the way mine look. Um, here's another really interesting season, and I've read enough books uh, about this, that basically there's certain bugs that are at certain times of the year. And I've seen guys that they have, there's um, July and August, June, maybe a spring box, a May box, July, August box, and a June box. And that pretty much takes care of 
you know, most of the time, especially if you fish in a specific uh, river or environment, uh, uh, that works really well because you're just not going to get, uh, you know, isonychias, uh, you know, at certain times of the year or stone, certain kinds of stoneflies or hexes. I mean, you know, hexes are very specific. Uh, white flies are very specific. You're not going to put those in a spring box. They're just you just never use them. So uh, this is kind of an interesting uh, proposition. Uh, there's a great book that shows what flowers are blooming and what flies will be out, and that's kind of a cool thing too. That almost would fit into that. You could actually put these into various flowers. You know, marsh, whatever. Okay. Anyway. So that's another system. That's, what do I call that one? They call that one System F. Okay. Uh, here's, here's another system, and I've used this system too, and that's doing it based on the kind of fish. So I have a trout box, my bass box, my panfish box, and my carp box. And you might even have a steelhead box and... Uh, you know, a few other, a few other boxes like that, sort of based on kind of the fish that you're, that you're uh, going after. So, you know, that's, that's a whole nother approach to this because certain flies appeal to certain things. Like, like I have a panfish box at, at the lake where I have a cabin and all that's in there are like poppers, pretty much poppers, poppers and ants. That's the 90% of what I use and a few nymphs thrown in there just, just for effect. Okay. Um, my bass one is very different. I hardly use any of my trout flies for when I'm fishing for bass. So it's, it's, it's just kind of a different thing, which is kind of giving you an idea of that. I really have no system at all. It's kind of random, um, which comes to my system. Uh, and I have a kind of a bizarre system at the moment, or anyways, that's the way it seems to be. Um, my primary fly uses the prime radium, which is like a skunk. You know, it's a uh, kind of like a Madame X -y kind of a thing. And I use that in a very floatable way. I pretty much fish, um, I pretty much fish chopper dropper kind of systems. Uh, so I use the prime radium as my floater and some kind of hair, ears, and nymph as my uh, dropper. And, you know, I'm, I'm getting more and more to where I have different colors of these, and that's pretty much my thing. Uh, ants, I use a lot of ants, all different kinds, sizes. Uh, and then I have a box of basically woolly buggers of all different colors and shapes. And then my new thing I'm kind of sliding into are these things called girdle bugs, or uh, I think they're called Pete's Wiggly Legs or something like that. Uh, so that's kind of my system. So if you comment uh, on what your system is on this month's video, uh, you will re receive a prize. You'll get a an Ann Arbor Trout Unlimited fly box, Wheatley style box, uh, as a prize. Uh, last time there was only about 30 uh, enrollees, so we'll see what happens this time. So. Tell me what system you have. You don't have to do it by letter. You could just say, I, you know, I do it by mayflies or, you know, and, and nymphs or something like that. But just make a comment this time. And uh, we'll, we'll see how many different versions we get. And I hope that there's more. I mean, th these were the ones I came up off the top of my head. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versions that I personally have used and kind of use even as we speak. So... So uh, so let us know what that is and uh, share some of the information between us. So that's the Jan this, so this is the January TU uh, fly fishing video. I'll have another one in a couple of weeks, but uh, 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 this is the official one where you have to comment. All right, we'll see you. Bye.